Hey, Grant, congratulations and welcome to Philadelphia. Thank you very much. We'll get started here with Ed Kratz and then Chris Franklin. All right. Sounds good. Hey, hi, Grant. Uh, congratulations on uh, being a draft pick. Um, Thank you, sir. Yeah. Um, listen, I, I'm just, uh, as far as concussions go, I know that's kind of a, been a big storyline these last few years, you know, from NFL down to uh, Pop Warner. Uh, curious, how many have you had? How severe uh, were they? And then what led you to the decision to return to playing the game? Yeah, so I had a, a, a couple of concussions when I was at Oklahoma, uh, really minor concussions. Um, and kind of like I said, during this process, uh, I didn't have a whole lot of knowledge about concussions. Um, I just knew, you know, obviously we all know there's a big stigma around concussions in football. Um, so that's what led me to, you know, step away from the game. And, uh, you know, as it goes, um, you know, coming back to football, really, it's just my passion for the game. You know, ever since I've been a kid, um, I've only seen myself as a football player. It's all I've ever wanted to do. Um, you know, that's who I am. I'm a football player. You know, I played my whole life and um, playing in the NFL is a dream of mine that I've always had. And so um, I wanted to take, you know, one shot at it. And, um, you know, I've been, I'm blessed to be in this position and super grateful that the Eagles, you know, saw something in me to to pick me today. Go ahead, Chris, and then Dave Zangaro. Hey, welcome to Philly. Uh, you guys threw the ball a lot down there at uh, SMU on the Sunny Dykes offense. How does your game translate to the NFL and basically what the Eagles are trying to do? Right. Yeah, I think um, when I was at SMU, we, we used the tight end in a lot of ways in the pass game and the run game. Um, and I think – you know, talking with coach, you know, they use the tight end in a lot of ways um, in 12 and 13 personnel, using guys to block, to run routes, um, really, really a complete tight end system. And so I think, you know, that fits my game well. I think I'm a tight end who can do a lot of different things. I think I'm a versatile player. And so i um, excited to get to work, excited to learn, uh, excited to, uh, you know, get better. Dave and then John McMullen. Grant, I know you were a teammate of Jalen Hurts uh, at Oklahoma for a while. What are your memories of him, and have you kept in touch with him over the years? Yeah, no, I uh, so excited to get back playing with Jalen. Um, you know, he was he was a great teammate at Oklahoma. Um, we were we were definitely you know good friends. Uh, have a ton of respect for him. Uh, you know, as a player and off the field as well. And um, yeah, just at Oklahoma, it, it was evident how how he was a leader so fast, you know, coming in as a transfer and um, uh, just really excited to get to work with him. I've, I've kept in, in touch with him a little bit um, in my journey back to plan. Um, just got off the phone with him about five minutes ago. So, you know, I'm, I'm so excited to get back playing with him. Go ahead, John, and then Zach Berman. Hi, Grant. Uh, congratulations. Uh Kind of interested in the pre-draft process. Uh, how much contact did you have with the Eagles? Who did you talk to? And did you have any any indication that they were going to draft you? Yeah, I had a, I talked to them at the Senior Bowl at the Combine. Um, and then maybe a couple times between, between the Combine and now. Um, I, my agent told me that there was, you know, consistent interest from them. And so uh, – I'm not sure. I didn't, I wasn't sure, you know, if they were going to be the team to pick me, you know, when it was going to be, but um, I can tell you that, you know, when they, when they were the team to pick me, I was excited. So, um, you know, really excited to be, you know, playing football in Philly. Go ahead, Zach, and then Martin Frank. Hey, Grant, congratulations. The year away from football, uh, I guess, how would you describe it? And during that time, what'd you learn about yourself? Yeah, no, it, it was crazy. Um, and I'll say, you know, during that time, I was I was trying to be a fireman out, out here in Southern California. So uh, I went to EMT school, uh, got my license, got hired as an EMT, uh, went to fire technology school, applied for different fire jobs in you know, L.A. and San Diego, um, worked construction. So I guess, you know, during that time, I kind of learned that, you know, I can kind of do anything I set my mind to, you know, I was able to, you know, move up the ranks in the firefighting community really fast. Um, and, you know, I, I learned a lot about myself, um, you know, how I can deal with adversity, um, how I can, 
you know, persevere through tough situations. And so I think that made me grow, you know, as a player and as a person this, this last year at SMU and, um, you know, extremely grateful for that experience. Martin and then Bo Wolf. Hey, Grant, um, congrats. I, want, I wanted to ask you kind of along those lines, um, at what, what point did you know while you were, you know, trained to be a firefighter, um, working construction that you wanted to give football one more chance? And how did that all come about? Uh, yeah, I, I will say, you know, the whole time that I was not playing, I kind of kept one foot in the door. You know, my brother and I were working out in the garage, you know, every day, uh, trying to stay in shape and things like that. Um, but I'll say, you know, the turning point for me was you watching the draft in 2020, uh, seeing some tight ends get picked. And I was like, you know, you know, I really thought, oh, you know, just as good as these guys. And, um, um, you know, a couple months after that, I just decided to go for it. I, I thought to myself, like, you know, you can only have one shot to go to the NFL and I can't decide to go to the NFL when I'm 30 years old, you know, halfway through my fire career. So I just decided to go for it. Um, and, you know, it worked out. It worked out in a good way for me. We'll go to Bo and then Josh Tolentino. Grant, what's your, uh, what's your setup this weekend? Who's, who was all there watching with you and, and what's it been like? Uh, yeah, so it was just my family, my, my parents, my three siblings, my girlfriend, and uh, a family friend. One of my, my oldest brother's best friend was in town, too, who's actually from Philly. So he was real excited. But um, so, yeah, we just kept it small. Um, I kind of wanted, you know, close family and friends there. And, uh, you know, it's been great. They're, they've all been really excited for me. Uh, you know, couldn't be, couldn't be happier for me. We'll take a couple more here. Go ahead, Josh, Rube, and then Les. Hey, Grant, congrats again. How do you view this opportunity to uh, join a room that has uh, Dallas Goddard, who's, you know, ha had a, a, a few successful uh, seasons over the past uh, few years? Hey, Sorry Grant, we'll pick it back up here with Josh Tolentino. Perfect. Yeah, Grant, sorry, I don't, I don't know if you heard me, but congrats again. And I was just wondering uh, how you view this opportunity to teammate, um, uh, team up with, with a guy like Dallas Goddard. Yeah, no, I, I couldn't be more excited. I think Dallas is obviously one of the best tight ends in the NFL. Um, a great learning opportunity for me. Uh, we're actually part of the same agency, so I've been able to kind of, you know, see him around in the offseason. Um you know, haven't been able to talk to him much, but, you know, from what I hear from um, everybody who knows him, you know, obviously a great player, um, somebody I'm really excited to come in and learn from. And, and if I could follow up, uh, last year the Eagles obviously led the, the league in <clears throat> rushing, um, and a lot of that occurred with uh, multiple multi-tight uh, end sets. Um, how do you view blocking uh, in the run game or, or in the pass game, just block blocking in general? Right. No, I think it's, you know, it's an important part of the game. I think, uh, 
you know, especially as a tight end, you got to take a pride in run blocking. Um, it's something that I definitely take pride in in my game. Uh, always trying to make improvements to become, you know, a complete polished tight end. So really excited to get to work uh, improving my game. Go ahead, Ruben and Les. Hey, Grant, welcome to Philadelphia. Uh, you know, we all read about the, the risks of multiple concussions. Uh, what did you learn? You said you didn't really know much about concussions and you kind of read up and learned about them. What did you learn that kind of makes you feel comfortable with the risks that you're taking on by returning to football? Yeah, I would say um, um, I learned, you know, all concussions are kind of relative. Um, you know, the severities are, are very different. And, you know, basically I learned, that, you know, there's a lot of guys in my position um, who've had, you know, a couple head injuries here and there, who, you know, go on to play a long time in the NFL. Um, you know, guys who have, you know, a lot more injuries than me and, and go on to have a long career in the NFL. So um, I, I'm, I know there's some, you know, technologies coming uh, nowadays um, that, you know, can kind of help with those symptoms, help prevent concussions and things like that. So um, with, with all the doctors that I talk to and everything, I feel, you know, very comfortable that I can go in and play for a long time. I, I know this last year I played all season, you know, no injuries, took a lot of big hits, you know, just like everybody else. And, um, you know, got up, dusted myself off and, you know, next play mentality. So um, excited to come into Philly and play and, you know, play for a long time. Last question here with Les. Hey, Grant, that actually was very close to what I was going to ask, but I'll ask you, uh, what kind of medical advice did you get when you stepped away? Um, and, yep. you know, you said you didn't know a lot about it, but obviously you were very concerned. And right. was there any testing or anything that gave you reason to feel, you know, that you're, you were overstating your situation then? Um, yeah, so, so what I learned was, you know, every doctor I talked to, none of these doctors told me I had to stop playing. Ultimately, it was up to me to make that decision. Um, and so, like I said, with the big stigma and concussions in football, I was just like, you know, I don't, I don't want to take the risk, which, um, you know, is, is a, is a fair, you know, it was fair reasoning at that time. Um, but like I said before, ultimately my, my passion for the game, my love for the game, um, you know, the identity I put in myself being a football player, you know, overruled that, you know, everybody has injuries, um, things that'll bother you later in life, but you know, I'm willing to take that risk. And every doctor I met with was also okay with me taking that risk. So I'm excited to be back doing what I love. Thanks for the time, Grant, and congratulations again. Yeah, thank you guys.